worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Like me. So we're going to talk about the 1998 Blade film starring Wesley Snipes. I imagine this movie was probably the coolest thing at the time with all the tribal tattoos and the video game blood and the cool martial arts and vampires and the hairstyles, man, they're pretty wild. I'd imagine this movie was a pretty big thing at the time, I'd hope. Now with all the buzz surrounding the Blade property these days, I felt it was appropriate to go back to the original live action adaptation to see what it was all about. To kind of form my own perspective on this film because I do hear a lot of people talking about how great it is. I gotta say, I, I agree with them. I think this movie is much more confidently filmed than a lot of other superhero movies at the time. It goes to show that if you invest money into these comic book properties and portray them properly, they're a success and they do work out. And I feel like these kind of superhero movies tapered off a little bit until Deadpool came out and kind of revitalized the whole R-rated genre for superheroes. So I felt that was really interesting to see the parallels between the two. Wesley Snipes is great in this. He's a good fit for the role and he adds a level of cool to Blade that I don't think any other actor could have done in the same way that he does. The villain in this movie is much better than I anticipated, although he's nothing to write home about. He's no Heath Ledger. But aside from the horrible hairdo, I thought he did a good job. I mean, his motivations were a little bit run of the mill. Uh, he's just, just trying to commit genocide to take over the world. It's nothing crazy. It's pretty textbook. So don't expect any crazy plot surrounding the, the main villain. We're here for Blade. The movie's called Blade, and uh, he does use his blade a lot. There's a lot of vampires that are killed in this movie. It really illustrates just how dated the effect in this are. We'll touch on that a little bit later. But I want to discuss the action in this film because I felt it was really well done. A lot of stunt work in this movie is in camera, well filmed. For the most part, there's not too much jumping around and it really allows you to be in the moment. They were also weren't afraid to be violent and bloody with this one and go a little crazy. This movie gets a little weird. It does feed into its comic book roots a little bit more in the sense that a lot of the kills in this movie are a little more on the cartoony side. But again, that adds just more charm to the movie as a whole. And I felt like it was very interesting to see the creative risks they took with it. For example, Blade carries the serum that makes the vampires explode. It was pretty gnarly. <laughs> they just like balloon up into these just unrecognizable things. That was pretty, pretty creative, I guess. <laughs> There's one sequence where they interrogate this morbidly obese man. It was pretty unsettling to watch. They just fry his ass. <laughs> but like, again, the movie is not afraid to get a little more weird with it. And I, I appreciated them kind of stretching their legs in that department. And I got to say, I think this movie aged really well. Aside from the bad scene, CGI. Uh, this movie does stand up to a lot more superhero films these days, although you can still tell it did come out around the late 90s. Other than that fact, I feel like this movie does stack up a little bit more to current day Marvel movies. Like it's better than a lot of them. It goes to show that if you just could put the right team behind a project, it, it does succeed. Now, from what I understand, that's not really the case with the sequels, but we're, we're here to talk about this original film because this is the most authentic one. This is the most real and most um, effort that was put into one of them. And I think it really paid off. Now, the only thing that really stuck out like a sore thumb to me was the special effects for good reason. This looks like a PS1 game. I feel like the special effects department was a little bit further ahead at the time. I don't really know where did the budget go for that. <laughs> it's a little inconsistent and it's a little distracting. There are some parts where you all you can focus on are the fact that these skeletons that are flying around in the air. I don't think the special effects in this aged well at all. That would be like the major gripe with this film for me. Other than that, there's not really anything other than like nitpicks. I thought this was a really good movie with some cool action, some great action acting, some great one-liners, a lot more effort behind the camera than I anticipated, especially for a movie that came out around this time in the superhero realm. The club scene was really interesting. I'm really excited to see what they do with the reboot of this series. I think Mahershala Ali is a great cast for this character, and I'm hoping that they can make it uh, work. I really want to see what they can do with him. I think he really fits the role really well, and I would love to see his interpretation on this character. Other than that, we've only ever had one live-action Blade, and we're not going to get Wesley Snipes back. I would like to see something new and refreshing with it and take some of the elements that really work with this film and adapt them into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and uh, I think it would really work. I know there's some, been some talks of Mahershala Ali being very frustrated with the process and Marvel kind of dragging their feet on getting this movie off the ground. It just lost its director so there's a lot of moving pieces here that haven't really settled into place. The movie actually just got delayed. Fingers crossed that we can get something really good out of this in the end. I would really like to see it come back in a new exciting way. So those are my thoughts on the 1998 Blade film. I had a great time with 
with it. If this is something that you revisit every so often, let me know your thoughts on the down in the comments below. I think this is definitely a gem that people don't talk about enough. Check out my last couple videos. I made one on She-Hulk. Apparently we got some people, of course, not liking my thoughts on it, but uh, it's just my opinion. If you guys don't agree with it, let me know down in the comments below in a constructive and healthy way. We all just like different things, man. Let's just talk about it and ha have a, a discussion. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Check out my last couple videos. Had a great time making those. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks.